Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, September 15th, 2022 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I stop, collaborate, and listen. <laughs> um, it was going to be stop, drop, and roll or stop, drop, and listen, but then stop, collaborate, and listen is what came through. So we are building to our Venus Mars square. We're also building into the Saturn Uranus square. We also have the moon today moving into Gemini and we have the sun in Virgo, which is square. So we've got some square energy and square can be challenging because it can be like let's do it my way. No, let's do it my way. Like, especially when we have the mutable signs going on, which are the information, uh, information carriers, because they're like, I know best. And this is a reminder that while each sign has its own way of bringing in information, connecting to the information, offering you the information, none of them actually to know best, even though many of them would like to say that they do. <laughs> and so our work is to stop, collaborate, listen, collaborate, find the path between the energies. So uh, what do we have today with that square? I guess we're, it's really that building, but we're going to feel it. We have the sun, um, the sun in Virgo, and the sun in Virgo, I hate to say it, Virgos, it's one of the know it alls. I say that as a Sagittarius also one of the know-it-alls. <laughs> Virgo loves to be impeccable with its information. And to be fair, Virgo is absorbing information from very important places. Um, I think Virgo's best skill is listening to the body, mind, spirit, soul, and heart. Sometimes the mind can get a little louder than the others uh, when it comes to that. But Virgo can listen to the body. And that's going to be so necessary as we have Venus and Virgo coming into this square with Mars and Gemini. So Gemini is very in touch with like, what's happening in the here and now? Like, what's the news? What's the gossip? Gemini, like, if you want to know what's going on, ask a Gemini, right? So with Mars in Gemini, it's getting like this information. And it's like, I want to act on this information. Meanwhile, Venus and Virgo is like, hey, there's a deeper, there's a deeper trench going on in here that we need to look at. So our work is over the next few days as we build to the square, as we're feeling this moon and Gemini energy as well, not to necessarily just be impulsive and, you know, ride on the first information. Stop collaborate, listen, <laughs> work with what's going on within you. This also works with the Saturn and uh, Uranus square that we have building on. You know, Uranus can be very triggered. Uranus in Taurus can trigger about money. It can trigger about worth. And yet Saturn is like, hey, there's a reason for this slow and steady unfolding. Now, I do think that in all of this, um, we have our own biases, our own baggage that come with, our own ways of looking at things, seeing things, feeling things, experiencing things that sometimes works for us, but sometimes also works against us. And so be aware over the next few days where you need to shift that baggage. In fact, we actually have the moon in Taurus today connecting to Pluto. And Pluto's like, hey, where do you need to empower yourself around some of this baggage, some of these energies, some of these things that you've been carrying, <laughs> carrying as I did that, I was imagining stop dropping and rolling to release the baggage. So maybe we all need to stop, drop, and roll as well to release the baggage that's coming up. Um, moon and Neptune also connecting in the wee early uh, morning hours, but you may have some residual lazy cat going on for that. Take some time today to connect in, to meditate, to stop, collaborate, and listen to spirit. Um, that will be very helpful, especially as we are building to sun opposite Neptune. When we stop collaborating and listen with spirit, with God, universe, we give way for magic to come in and uh, infuse another lifeline uh, in and through us. 
let's see, what else do we have going on today? Moon into Gemini. So the moon will shift into Gemini 1.15 p.m., it looks like, right about. Moon in Gemini, like I said, it is going to start bringing in the information. This may spike the mental energies as both the sun, um, the sun in Virgo is ruled, well, Virgo is ruled by Gemini, or not Gemini. I am Mercury retrograding all over the place right here. Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Gemini is ruled by Mercury. We are in Mercury retrograde. We may have more of those little snafus. And there's another place to like stop, collaborate, listen, tune into these areas. Sometimes those snafus actually have information for us as well. Um, the only connection that the moon in Gemini is making before we hit Friday is a connection with Jupiter. Um, so moon in Gemini, Jupiter retrograde in Aries. You may find that there's something that you need to get off your chest. And this may be part of the stop, collaborate, and listen. You may find that there's some things that just need to be said. Watch for those things and know your audience. Know the ones who can. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Have I said that enough? Um, I will mention that we're building to a connection with Mercury early on Friday morning. So with Moon in Gemini, Mercury retrograde, things may get a little silly. Take it in stride, you know? Try to have patience with the Mercury mischief. Uh, again, I left the cards in the other room. And I have a mahalo sitting on me, so I didn't want to get up and do that. But I do have the Nine of Wands, which is a card of like, hey, what are you carrying around? And I was like, what else? What else? What else did I need? And I pulled another nine, the Nine of Pentacles. So we're definitely building to something. But these nines, nines in Tarot connect to the Hermit. So even as we're building to something, even as we're having to let some stuff go in order to grow, um... Take some time to be in your own field. When the energy is so electrical like this, I feel like our fields can become more open and we absorb more stuff from the collective. And there's so much stuff to be absorbed, right? So take some time to be in your own energy field. And speaking of growing something, that something already has roots, expect to see some blossoms. Or not blossoms, little, what are those things called? I don't know. <laughs> Words. What are those these days? Um, and I'm throwing cards on for Mahal. Anyway, expect to see some fruit from your work incoming. All right, so leave you that there for today. Uh, you can book a reading with me. Email me, Mimi Clark at gmail.com. I will have the words for you when we do your reading. Whew, it's been a long day. Um, Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and honor your values. Namaste.